been good and bad. Um, I suppose really, before I go into what's happened this year, I should probably take you back to a session last year. I only got in one session last year, and um, luckily it did produce a fish, and it was um, it's one of the nice fish. Um, not one of the A team as such, but um, it was one of the stockies that's grown on and put on a reasonable bit of weight, and it was a, it was a really lovely, lovely coloured fish. Yeah, I think it was a September day. It was um, quite wet, but it's really warm. I've been doing a little bit of stalking. I found a fish quite close in, and I basically got the rods done for the night because we had quite a wet, um, wet storm come through, and I got the rods done for the night. And it was about, I think maybe 10, 11 o'clock the next day, and I was at that point where I was thinking, should I bring the rods in? So I go and do a bit of stalking, or should I leave it? And we had this real heavy down. just thought to myself you know what I leave the rods in place and I, I reckon it could produce one and literally the rain stopped and I was sat there just peeking out of the uh the aqua out of mind a little sort of um pillbox style just peeking out the rain stopped and um the right hand rod just literally just buckled over and off it went and um I'll show you uh I'll show you the sort of bit of footage I had from that session it was a, it was an awesome session and uh Although it only had the one bite, it was, a, it was a brilliant fish, it was a lovely looking fish, so I'll show you that now, um, enjoy the footage. Dropped in late last night, found some fish, put about a kilo, maybe a kilo and a half of um, the innate baits, tuna in uh, 10 and 16 mil, just at the back of the marginal weed, and um, put a bit of pellet and corn on it as well, and uh, basically I was getting liners through the night. Um, and this morning, it's basically absolutely ripped off. Um, it's probably about midday. Um, we just had a down call. But, uh, this guy's just, uh, decided to pick up one of my bags. Look at that. He's a bit of a brute, isn't he? So, uh, <clears throat> coming in at 26.12. Gorgeous, gorgeous black, dark fish. Yeah, real, uh, real proud uh, beast, huh? Definitely a proper one. First one out of the, uh, first one out of the syndicate this um, for this season. First session, can't go wrong with that. Hey, look at that, it's a stunning fish. Cracking fish. Can't, uh, can't knock that. What a looker. Hello, duck. Even the ducks have come to say hello. Oh, I have to make sure I uh, I thank Terry over at Nate. He made up some bait for me. Um, he's been making a lot of bait for me uh, the past few weeks. I think I've had about 8 kilo off of him. And um, Why not when you catch fish like that, eh? Cracking fish. And there's the other side. Cracking fish, eh? Lovely, lovely dark fish. Got absolutely made up of that. I don't want to keep her out too long anyway, it's uh it's quite sunny and warm, so or um oh. I get her back in her lake. Chingwing. Saw it. So as you can see it was a um, it was a lovely fish and it was an awesome little session. Um I don't know why but I never ended up going back. I, I really spent a lot of time last year fishing a lot of day tickets and 
doing a lot of socials with a with yeah, a mate well right over on, um, on Shearwater over in Wiltshire and although probably not the prettiest fish going, um, let's be honest, but um, I really did well on there and I had, I had quite a few 20, I'd say the first 20 I had out there was probably only 18 months to two years ago and since um, since then it's gone, it's gone crazy. I think in the last 18 months I've had um, 13 or 14 fish and um, I believe 10, 10 of those were last year, so um, I did I did pretty well. Didn't document and film all of it, but um, I did get a couple of good sessions. I had a couple of twenties um, on camera, which was um, which was pretty good. And I even had um, my mate Hughes uh, first twenty on camera, which was um, which was cool. But anyway, I did a lot of um, social fishing last year, a lot of day ticket fishing, and so I, I kind of ignored my syndicate and. Um, this year I wanted to change that, so coming into 2017, I've um, I've actually been fishing the winter on there, and it's been tough. It really has been tough. And I've only had two fish. Um, it's, it has been tough. And those two fish come on the same session. We had a real wet, mild front come in, real stormy. A couple of trees come down in the, in the parkland, and um, it was um, it's a bit hairy to be fair. It's a, it's pretty uh, touch and cloth sort of. Uh, Situation. I heard. A, I heard a tree come down. Luckily, it was it was quite far back up on the on the road path. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, it's one of those things. A couple of sort of branches come off it. The quality. Um, I was up most of the night. Didn't really sleep well. But um, I had a couple of fish, and um, or, well, I let the footage um, speak for itself. But they were they're only a couple of stockies, but a beautiful, beautiful, little absolutely fish. beautiful little fish. It's um. First fish of the year for me. It's the um, first of February. I've um, been struggling a bit. January um, weather's been cold. Um, weather's been quite cold. Um, I haven't done that much carping. I've been doing a lot on the local little park lake, and it's been pretty hard work, I'm honest. Uh, but um, first session of the year on the syndicate, I believe. Possibly second. Actually, no, it's not. It's my second. Um, but yeah, first one. So. First one of the year, it's one of the fresh stockies. I don't think this fish has ever been caught before. Any mark I could see is um, from my hook, where the little uh, stance choddy was laying. I had it on a um, an eight baits uh, tuna pop-up over the top of some uh, tuna baits. Um, I put about a couple of hundred. Um, weather's been really cold lately, but um, this past sort of probably four or five days has gone really mild. and. Um, I was meant to get out yesterday, didn't have a chance, but I'm glad I got out today because uh, I've got this lovely little guy. And uh, yeah, mm. well chuffed for that. Not a monster, is it? But um, cracking, cracking fish, and I think I'm probably the first person to catch him, so uh, I'm well happy with that. Anyway, don't want to keep him out for too long. I'm going to take a couple of little pictures just for the uh, record books. It's nice to see how they grow, and um, I'm going to slip them. Beautiful, back. beautiful fish. Look at that scale pattern. Cracker. She's gonna be uh, one for everyone's photo album in a few years when she's a bit bigger. Um, I'm well happy to catch that. Stunning, stunning fish. She went um, ten pound ten. So a pretty much, well, a couple of ounces smaller than the last one, but like I said, probably peas in a pod, same sort of size at the moment. But um, I'm sure they're gonna feed up and that this uh, this year and. Um, Hopefully this time next year they'll uh, be quite a few pounds bigger. So as uh, you can see there, it's got a, uh, a mark in his scales. I don't know um, where that's come from, but... Maybe. Yeah, another one on the chod. Stance, uh, size 6 chod up. And it beats a uh, tuna pop-up. Over uh, just shy of a kilo of um, tuna freebies. Um, job done. So uh, I'll get her back. I need to get back in the bag and uh, try and get a few more hours of sleep before uh, I uh, got to get up for work. So uh, anyway, let's get back. So there you go. Like I said, they're lovely looking fish. They're fully scaled. Shame it, shame it had a bit of a mark on one side, but it's an awesome fish. Once once they put on some weight, um, start growing up, they're um, they're gonna look awesome. Anyway, since then, like I said, I've done, I've done quite a few nights. Um, that's probably about halfway through. Um, that's probably 
about three, four weeks ago now, I think I had those. And um, I haven't had anything since. I did two nights, um, about a week and a half ago, I did two nights. That was a blank. Um, and other than having, I think I had a little jack um, on one session, just cast a little law round up on one of the other. Um, lobbed it into the corner. And uh, I had a fish take straight away. Only, uh, only a little one. But, uh, you know, little Jack, there we go, he's uh, pretty skinny. Um, could have probably done with that meal instead of it being a lump of plastic. But, um, yeah, um, first pike I've had out of these lakes. I have, I've never bothered pike fishing them before. Um, but I thought uh, I'd give it a go. So, nice to have one, um, a new little one, but uh, cool to get a little bite at the end. So, save the blank session, I guess. Um, Anyway, I'm gonna get him back and gonna go home. So, uh, what a cool little fish. Um, that's been about it. Um, today, kind of good and bad. Um, I've had two bites. I've dropped them both off. I don't know what's happened. Um, I was fishing drop off solid bags. One of the leads didn't drop off on the first bite. I assume the, the fish managed to just shake it as I, um, Picked, I was quite late getting to the rod. I was in, I was in a bag. I was quite late, late getting to the rod. Um, fishing quite locked up against snags, and um, I kind of put the, my boots on the wrong feet somehow, and um, probably half asleep. I put my boots on the wrong feet, and I got my foot halfway in one boot. Realised it was on the wrong foot, and messed around trying to put it on the right foot. And I think by the time I got to the rods, there was quite a lot of pressure when I'm fishing locked up. I sort of leaned into the fish, walked back a bit. It was on there, I could feel it, and it sort of was plodding, and it, it just sort of dropped off. I, I think it's probably just the, the situation, you know, it was on there for a bit too long. Um, the lead didn't drop off, I don't know why, but the lead didn't seem to drop off. Um, and it, it all just seemed to go wrong, really. Um, I'll put it out there again, put another bag out there again, and um, within five minutes, I reckon it was away again and um, again I, I tried to sort of do things a little bit differently I thought you know I do I, in the back of my head I had I've just lost one and I thought to myself you know I've got to get this one right and pretty much the same thing happened it, it just it dropped off I had it on for a bit longer and it was it sort of kited right across snag, the, front back of the snag. pieces and then it kited left, and as it kited left, it must have turned again, changed angle, and, and the hook pulled again. So I really don't know why, I don't know what happened there, but um, it's not unfortunate, that's just how it is. pretty good for a bite, it's just, I've already lost two, I'm not feeling great, I'm not feeling that confident now, but um, I've changed the rigs as well, so I don't know if that's going to be good or bad, but um, I, had, I literally had a straightforward bottom bait rig with a bit of plastic corn, I lost two fish on that, so I've now put a little balanced pop-up rig in the bag, um, which is hopefully going to get the bait back a bit more and give me a better hook hold, I'm hoping. Um, bag. I've been injected with um, one of the innate glugs. Um, it's, like the it's like a tuna, sort of fishy glug. I've been injecting it with that. Um, it's, like, it's an oil, basically, but um, our first fish smashed it after five minutes, so um, that definitely brought its attention. But um, since then, nothing's happened. I think I've spooked them, to be honest. Um, if I get another bite, I'd be amazed to get three bites. I mean, that would have been brilliant. Keep you updated again, and um, until then.
tight lines, here we are. Finally not uh, dropped one off and actually got one on the bank. I was literally just looking at packing away, brought one of the rods in and uh, amazingly this rod's gone off. It's only a, one of the little stockies but it's a beautiful little fish. There he is, look at that. Oh, beautiful little uh, fresh stocky, another one uh, out of the lot that had gone in recently I think. Only one little hook mark in his mouth, that was the one that I had him on. But, uh, lovely little fish. Not the, uh, not the originals we're after, but a uh, lovely fish. I'd say he's probably, um, I don't know, he's quite chunky actually, he's probably 9, 10 pounder or something. Uh, lovely little fish, yeah, he's the other side. side. Awesome looking, uh, awesome looking thing. Perfect in miniature. Take a quick photo of him anyway and stick him back. Saw the little innate uh, pop up again. Over a mix of freebies, so um, the old tuna in that mix, in a mix 50 50 doing well. Anyway, we're getting back. But anyway, there we go, so um, that's pretty much how it is so far. Um, I'll keep you updated as and when. Um, if you um, hit the uh, subscribe button, then um, keep up to date with the uh, channel and that. And um, I'll put up one of the uh, latest videos down below. Keep you updated again. And um, until then, tight lines, hope we are with you.